Here's a $150 an hour skill you could learn this weekend, but you gotta shut off the big game and learn the AT Tiny microcontroller. Parts are under 25 bucks, and this video is less than three minutes long. What do you have to lose? Let's go. A microcontroller is a type of device that often leads to self-employment because with a couple lines of code and like a sub $1 part, you can make electronics do whatever you want. Nowadays, you can even upload the data sheet to your favorite AI and vibe code most of this. Just open up the Arduino IDE. Go up to File, New Sketch. Arduino creates a new blank sketch for you. I like to save this as something. File, Save As. I'm just gonna call this the ATtiny85 Blink. Now you're gonna install this programmer board. So you're gonna go to this SparkFun page and it's like a tutorial. It'll tell you how to set everything up. I'm gonna also show you above and beyond that what was a little bit nasty about it. In your sketch, you have to go to File, Preferences, and then note this sketchbook location. Navigate to that folder. In my case, I have a Windows PC. It's C, Users, Cohort, Documents, Arduino. And then I had to create this folder called Hardware. Inside Hardware, you have to create another folder called AT Tiny. Inside there, you have to create a folder called AVR. In the AVR folder, you have to paste the contents of this GitHub right here, this damnless AT Tiny. You just download this as a zip, unzip the zip, and make sure that you paste only this stuff into that folder. You survived configuration, now we're getting to the hands-on fun part. At the top of the microcontroller, there's a little notch, and to the left is the pin one position, and it has a little dot next to it. You're gonna take this notch and line it up with the silk screen notch in that little socket right in the middle. Now you have to push this chip into that socket, but notice that these pins are flexed a little bit. Gently, gently flex the pins inward, and then push them into the socket. This is how it should look like. Now we're gonna plug this into the computer as fast as we can and see if he takes code. Got to start with some simple code, make sure that this compiles correctly. So we're just going to take all of this and delete it and then paste this code here, which flashes an LED. First sets up an output on port pin zero, which happens to be actual pin five on the chip. And then it flashes an LED continuously forever. Now you're going to go up to tools, board, AT Tiny microcontrollers, AT Tiny 85. Click. Go to tools, programmer, USB Tiny ISP. If everything's set up correctly, you'll be able to go into tools and then set your clock speed to internal one megahertz. Now, upload. Okay, done compiling, uploading, done uploading. And look at this, we have a flashing LED. Flashing once a second. Why is it flashing once a second? Because in our code here, we're setting that pin high to turn on the LED. We're waiting 500 milliseconds, which is half a second, and then we're setting that pin low again to shut off the LED. We're waiting 500 more milliseconds, and we're looping that forever. You can go ahead and play with those values of 500, recompile it, re-upload it to the chip, and see how fast you can get the LED to blink.